Scorpio, this is all about you. Scorpio, this is your oracle reading, oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. If you just arrived to the channel, please do click subscribe. Ring that bell so you know when I go live and when I upload all my content. This is a glance at the week ahead, week ahead predictions for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Scorpio influences your chart, you can apply these energies. Remember, if they don't fit, don't squeeze it. Don't force anything. Let it go if it's not working for you. Scorpio, we're going to do your full oracle card spread. And then there's a link below to an extended reading, a full tarot card spread, and your romance reading for the week ahead. The next seven days, you can apply these energies. Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio energies for the week ahead. Scorpio. Be here now. Be in the present moment. You may be dealing with a Libra, or you could just be dealing with somebody quite beautiful. This is about inspiration, love, a romantic interpretation of what life should be, and somehow finding the balance between what you've always wanted and what you have. This is the crowning energy. It is a bit of unearthly loveliness here on earth itself. This is an ess essential peace and balance, but also inspired by a great beauty. There could be somebody that has inspired a great deal of romantic stirrings within you. Somebody who in some ways you're still watching through a window, looking at and admiring, just being completely in awe of somebody that has inspired you. Or it, this could be essentially you focusing on being as beautiful, like true beauty, real beauty, like essential beauty, as in the beauty of nature, you know, the beauty of God's creatures, the beauty of, of the earth and the sky and the flowers and the birds and the bees, natural beauty. But if this is essentially a person or even an opportunity, it's because it grounds you by inspiring you. It's almost like having finally found a purpose, finally found direction, a reason. It's almost like falling in love from afar. This is a feeling of inspiration, being inspired, being inspired after a long time of being uninspired. And you find that, that infusion of awe and, and, Oh, not fantasy, but yeah, just um, appreciation is something that you absolutely needed in your life. This could be finding a muse. That's kind of what this is, is finding a muse for yourself, finding a direction, finding a purpose, finding something that keeps you going. Even though it seems like a miracle, you're still here. Scorpio, this is like miracles happening in front of your eyes or something special. Uh, Spurring your heart, almost like shocking your heart back to life. This feeling of finally being alive again, inspired again, feeling your like feel like I feel I can feel again. Um, yeah, I mean it's just being overtaken by an essential inspiration. And 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 I think what impresses me the most about this energy for you is that. It grounds you. It grounds you because you're a creature who loves to be inspired. You need inspiration. You need a drive. If something had been boring you or life had been dull or uninspiring or um, even fearsome at times because there was an essence of misery or depression, there is something over the next seven days or that has become and will become very evident over the next seven days that it's an inspiration that's sort of risen you out almost miraculously and yet not miraculously. Hummingbirds are a very strong creature, very, very uh, actually amazing the way that they can fly and hover and how many flaps their wings take every single second to the point where it just looks like a blur. It's as if they're hovering magically and yet they're not. 
it's not actually magic, is it? It's just purpose and, and a special kind of build. And there is this es essential aspect of you, Scorpio, that is built to love, that is built to be inspired, that needs that aspect that drives something to look at, something to desire, something to want desperately more than anything in the world. And, and that doesn't have to be another person. It could be a song, it could be a career, it could be, it could be, yeah, it could be a project, a, a purpose in life, definitely. But it's as if still over these next seven days, somehow you're looking at it. You're looking at it from afar. You're still taking it all in, all in and appreciating every aspect of it instead of actually having touched it or be near it. In some aspects, there may be a feeling of, I don't want to touch it yet. I don't want to. To, I want I, I want to stay in this moment of awe for as long as I can because I don't want to ruin it. There's a there's a little bit of um, you being tentative, tentative, um, tentative, just holding back a bit to watch and be inspired as much as you possibly can because a lot of times the reality creeps in and ruins it for you. And so I think you're really just loving this feeling coming back. It's almost like coming back to life. Back, like like feeling like you're you're alive again after so long of feeling uninspired and and numbed in some way. There's something that's sort of reinvigorated your sense of oh this is why I'm alive. Oh this is interesting energy. Interesting to say the least. Let's get into it. Lay a solid foundation. This is Virgo energy, and Virgo is a particularly interesting sign, especially for you because. They have a hidden passionate side, a side that you could very well in some ways be the person to unveil, a hidden um, sensuality to them. Um, but there's also a wonderful sense of uh, grounding to them, grounding that will, grounding in loyalty, grounding in, yes, I, I don't want to just be a fly by night and sick, see? This is, six is the number of the lovers in the original tarot card deck. So this is this essential, real, true, long-term, right. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. I don't commit myself in the general reading to specifically a love reading. But I will say that this is a very romantic energy, but it is a realistic romance. So this is a different kind of partner, a different kind of... Um, purpose because it is grounded in something that is absolutely real in hard work in being special because of how you're built and how and how you move through life but there is essentially this sense of um, loyalty that is moving to you and maybe this energy um, might have seen it, it's very family based let's put it this way because beavers are extremely family based extremely sort of based in their heart at the home. And so laying a solid foundation of knowing what you want to build and who you want to build with, there is a, a sense, a essence of you uh, over the next couple of days, especially since this full moon of, of clarification, clearly knowing what you want and not being afraid, not being afraid um, having sort of transcended all these feelings of people's judgments or criticisms or comments on you. And now having found something or someone uh, where you can set your cornerstones and, and long term. I just keep hearing long term, long term. This, this is somebody a lot more plain. This is um, seeing a great deal of beauty in something that is very, I said it, I said it in the beginning, natural beauty. There's a natural beauty. There's not this cosmetic aid or assistance. There's a natural beauty that's coming through about this connection um, that sustains you. And maybe that's what's most inspiring about this whole thing is that that natural, that natural sense of purpose. Act as if. Um, you know, it's almost like you have to pretend, not pretending to be somebody else, but it's almost like being somebody you've never tried to be before. Um, feeling a little bit uncomfortable in your own skin, but in a good way. It's still coming off as a very positive energy where this could actually very well be um, 
you know, shedding, oh, I also see this card coming up. This is Gemini energy as well. You could be dealing with a Gemini or is almost like seeing the truth underneath somebody's cosmetics or shedding the need for a lot of cosmetics, shedding the need for a lot of superfluous accoutrements to one's character, not really needing it or wanting it or caring about it anymore, like throwing off this mantle of how, why, this is what I do to impress people, trying too hard or trying too much, throwing off that mantle and proceeding almost like rushing away from it and getting away and proceeding. This is also an essence of fertility in a little bit, a little degree of somebody to build a home with or a family with uh, DNA connecting, um, making, making a connection that will carry you into the future. But this is also the Gemini full moon. Like I said, really clarifying things for you. It could also be you finally letting all of the superfluous BS disintegrate and seeing the truth, seeing wanting something that's not dressed up, something that is simpler, but beautiful in its, in its nature, in what it is. Um, essentials, I keep getting essentials, like essentials coming through. Um, it's almost like a homeopathic person, if you will. There's this, there's this sense of finding it's like that, that truth underneath. It's like you don't, if, if this were a person, this would be somebody whose DNA you loved, you know, not, not the way that they dress or the way that they make themselves up, but who they are underneath it all, who they essentially are. This is the truth of the matter, the truth of the person. Now act as if could also uh, speak to this is an opportunity if not a person in particular, that you have been manifesting and you have been working very hard, acting as if they're already here, act as if you already have it. And then this is reiterating the crowning energy, which is hummingbird, be here now, find the peace and find the beauty of your current situation so that it can come to you. It can be here right now. This is almost finding something in plain sight as if as if something that you could never see before and it's funny when I picked up this energy it was almost like you know in past years this might have been boring to you and I got this energy for you I think a couple of weeks ago or maybe in your um your full moon reading there's energy of this this kind of earthy energy whether it's an earth sign or not it's an earthy energy so it's got a strong firm foundation could very well have been boring to you, but there is essentially now this preparedness in you. It's like, it's like, like all the flakes are coming off. It's like all the makeup is being rubbed away. It's, it's not what you want anymore. It's, it's going in actually a different direction from that, going into a direction that is firmly planted, that gets its speed and its quickness and its purpose, it, it gets its speed because now it finally has a purpose. It finally has a way, you know, it, it finally sees a target to head to instead of wondering, take time out. Ooh, life is speeding up and take time out sitting right next to each other. Um, this is an energy of aggressively seeking, aggressively going after something, but also uh, finding something in your life that you want to protect. Finding something in your life that is worth protecting. This is a tremendous energy coming over you of wanting, like caring enough about something finally to defend it. To, to mama bear, mama bear energy of no one's going to get my baby. No one's going to come through. No, one, no one's going to come through my, me. You, you know, uh, standing up and a, uh, being an aggressive defender. You know, this isn't an energy of being um, an offender but aggressively defending something, having something that's worth defending, you know, finding your purpose in life. Uh, this is also nine. Nine is saying uh, something is about to culminate or come to a head. So this is also um, a, a realization in your whole self of what your purpose in life is. Um, excellent energy. Um, dream the world into being so much energy here. Um, know your worth. Uh, skunk spirit. Ooh, yeah, once again, another energy of coming out and being who you are. And you know, it, this is my, this is, this is, this is like, love my stink or don't love me type of energy. Of like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying to not 
hide myself or dress something up and, and maybe this is finally seeing the beauty in something that was a little bit off kilter or not um you know uh, hard to approach at first this is also a defensive energy you know it's a defensiveness wrapped up in a in a really cute fuzzy character but there's a defensiveness of of skunk that intimidates other people could even intimidate bear you know it, it, it's like it's like you have this really aggressive energy, but then there's this calm energy, calm defensiveness is if you get too close, you're going to be very uncomfortable with me. Um, so there is a reiteration now of just having something in your life that you want to protect and that you want to defend um, and not really caring what other people think about your stink. That's what it is. Like this is who I am. And really seeing, I think once again, the true nature or true beauty in something or somebody interesting and i just saw 555 go across my time it's interesting i gotta say this is really an interesting energy you see clearly now seeing your direction seeing your way seeing the dark you know seeing through the night seeing in the night this is an energy of wisdom of knowing this is aquarian energy um this could be this is usually a guide or a counselor somebody on the outside giving you advice showing you the way maybe you finally taking counseling or taking advice or or found a, a wisdom a spiritual or philosophical path that you have been able to align yourself with and that has offered you a lot of security and faith and um purpose in your life um this is also, yeah, oh, I may go back to that card, to be honest with you. Because Owl has a wonderful way of also being a defensive energy, but defensive almost intellectually with being able to see, see the rats behind the walls, you know, see the mice behind the walls and see them in the middle of the night from hundreds of feet away and swoop in and grab them and gobble them up. Um, being experienced in life to know where to take aim at. So if there has been issues in your life, there is this energy of finally knowing where the stink is coming from. It's like you finally sussed out the stink. You know, no matter how aggressive or defensive or big and burly it seems, you've finally been able to suss out the stink, even if it's a part of yourself, even if it was in your DNA, it's finally being uncovered. So there is this energy of, of seeing through somebody's facade, three, seeing through a practical facade, seeing through a lot of BS, seeing through that, having the wisdom and experience now to be able to cut right through it and tear it all down and defend yourself against it. So if there has been this sense of looming danger or looming fear, what will be very clear for you this week is where it's coming from. It will be impossible to hide the truth from you this week because there is such this tremendous energy of being able to articulate that truth even in the dark. So I like that energy for you is, is, is being able to see truth. Being able to see beyond the facade, being able to see natural beauty over um, uh, plastered on beauty, whether that is in you or, you know, throwing away this mantle of, I'm, you know, I'm sick of all the makeup and all this and all that. I, it's, it's, that's not really me or that's not really what matters or just, you know, seeing somebody's true persona you know, through all that, all that they've created, the persona they've created, actually being able to see their truth nothing is wasted uh once again a very wise bird a very wise energy of being able to see the beauty in the things that most people would trash and throw away and so this is an energy of either looking yourself in the mirror and being able to see that if other people have discarded you or not believed in you finding that finding that beauty and finding that purpose and who you are but also scorpio there's this energy of also being able to see very clearly and from afar what is valuable and what can be used to sustain you in the future. God, there's a lot of cards that wanted to come out. Watch your words is upside down. Ooh, okay. What is this energy? I almost feel like, um, once again, when it's upside down, this is about listen. Listen and receive instead of speak. Um, instead of, yeah, being very calm, almost having this, 
this energy of watching and waiting and wanting to be able to see what somebody else's next move is because it's almost like that next move is going to reveal everything you need to know about them. Interesting. So there is definitely somebody that you have taken particular interest in. And I feel like um, it, 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 it may not even be a somebody as much as it is um, um, something that something, let's, let's say that for now, something that you've taken a very particular interest in, but you want to vet its quality, right? So you want to listen and understand and see what's being said and how they speak and how they present themselves. And if their words match their actions, because upside down, Parrot can't get very far. He can't, there's nothing. This is an energy that's not going to harm you, but it, it is going to sort of uh, help you to um, qualify some uh, qualify something but by it by the way that it behaves watch your words Scorpio this is this is almost a chance for you to speak out a time for you to be heard and a time for you to be listened to interesting because I remember getting a similar energy reclaim your power oh this is that dark beauty that seeing in the dark or those eyes, those light, that light, that fire that comes from within and that never goes out. And I feel like once again, that comes back to my first initial crowning message, which was hearing, um, of finding your fire, rekindling it, rekindling it and being inspired once again and, and finding this sort of um, purpose in your own self. Um, but this is also seeing in the dark. This is also watching. This is a this is a, a stalker card, but this is definitely the watcher. This is a watcher from afar, not letting somebody know that you're looking. Interesting, and you are never alone. So whoever it is that you're watching, um, either you are watching them, or they're watching you, or you're both watching each other, because there's definitely this energy of who's watching who, and they can't take their eyes off of you. Um, and is this too good to be true? It feels like, no, it feels like for the first time in forever, this is absolutely the truth. Once again, balance is coming back into your life. This is Libra energy. This is conservative Libra energy. This is showing a lot of flair on the outside where you're showing a lot of cons conservativeness on the on, underneath. Because remember, flamingos, um, they... They conserve their energy by shifting between legs. They don't use both legs, right? They instead, instead they use one leg and then they shift to the other leg and they stand very proud and they also stand in a cluster. So there's this beautiful energy of finding your tribe, finding your people, finding the people that you belong to. You are birds of a different color. You, you have like finding where you want to be, who you want to be around. And because of that, now being able to spend less time trying to be and more time just being. So if this is a relationship, this is definitely having spotted somebody that inspires a sort of level of truth in you or a level of, oh, I finally found where I belong. And this is once again, Wow, this is energy of true love. This is an energy of heart space and romance. This is the ro most romantic card for me. This is swan energy. I always see this also as a Libra energy, but swans are swans mate for life. Um, they make a decision and they stick with each other. And this is also a situation where this is sort of the ugly duckling, where there's this hidden beauty in the DNA of something. So something that was not beautiful at first. So this could very well be um, a particular situation or person or whatever your situation is that did not necessarily look very good to you at first. But now all of a sudden it's transforming and you're starting to see that its true colors, its natural colors are actually revealing, re revealing a thing, aspects that you really respect aspects that are about loyalty and long-term. I said that in the beginning of the reading, long-term commitment and, and going the distance and finding beauty in a place that you once, you know, you know, it, it swans start off as ugly ducklings. They're not impressive at first. So maybe at first you didn't see the beauty in this circumstance or situation, but all of a sudden it's something that's so gorgeous. It's awe inspiring. Like I said, 
when you see swans gracefully flow over there's a sense uh, uh, over the water there's a sense of tranquility and awe about them they're also very aggressive birds they also defend their nests very aggressively they have no problem nipping at you and chasing after you and they can be huge birds so there's also this sense of finding something worth defending but it gets closer and closer to the heart space this is also Virgo energy, earth energy, gentleness, and kindness. This is definitely an energy that is so natural and pure. Big doe eyes. I don't know if there's somebody with big brown eyes that you're looking at in your life. Somebody with just honest, honest eyes and a gentle nature. Uh, um, also, once again, a natural elegance and grace to who they are. Not a lot of makeup, not a lot of, um, not a lot of show, not a lot of flair, but just the truth, the finally seeing the truth of somebody. And this is, once again, 18, 8 and 1 add up to 9. This is 9. Think of coming to a head, almost, almost there, almost 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 done you almost got it there's this there's this right at the satiation point so for the next seven days i would imagine that you are really just sort of continuing to vet this quality i feel like this is a new or old experience that you haven't felt in a long time scorpio the miracles are endless I mean, this is Taurus energy. Once again, earth energy, grounded energy, um, reliable energy, and real. Okay, once again, this is, once I, what, remember what I said with Hummingbird? This is something that you're in awe of. It's something that, that's come down from the heavens. So it's no longer just a theory. It's, it's, it's real. It's, it's a real thing. It's, it's not just a concept anymore. And even the underbelly of it is something that is beautiful because it is tangible. It's not just made up and, and, and bounty, bountiful. There's bounty coming in to, to you this week, um, in a very natural way. Um, transformation is beautiful. <laughs> Uh, right near uh, mir the miracles are endless. And this is a huge reading. So it's got to be a very huge week for you. Um, transformation is endless. This is shedding your old skin and becoming somebody new. Letting go. Letting, what I said, let, letting go of any kind of investment you had in something that wasn't sincerely you, wholly you, or something that completely, uh, you know, something that didn't completely, yeah, like not caring what people think about you anymore. Not, not caring, like letting, letting that drop off. Or if you never cared what people think about you, almost taking an invested interest in what other people have to say. Like I said, with this card, this grounding energy of listening or also being listened to, of finally having your words make a difference and matter. And I think it's because you have found, you found this sense of purpose. Um, but I still feel like it hasn't completely, totally come to a head, head yet. And I'll explain that in that it's like you're still, you found your purpose, but I don't think that you've necessarily sealed the deal. That's all I'm getting right now. Freedom is yours and dream the world into being. Freedom is yours from those old fantasies. See, this is you finally being able to find a way forward from what was dead. Anything that was holding you back or keeping you down, that skeleton, you see the profile. Um, the past is the past, wanting to leave and wanting to walk away from it. You now have freedom from that. This is horse energy. This can be um, spontaneous energy or erotic energy, but it's definitely wild and young and free. It's refreshing. It's being released. It's, it's once again, a gorgeousness of nature. If you've ever seen horses, and they are, it's, it's interesting that they are four, they're a hooved animal, four hooves, that's earth energy, but this is a very air energy. This is an energy of air. This is an energy of, of weightlessness and freedom. And that freedom you feel when you see wild horses running of anything is possible. But once again, really possible. It's not, uh, it's not just a thought. It's transcended into something with four hooves that's really alive. Um, this is this this almost well muscled muscled um, uh, strength. There's strength, and there's there's almost an innocent courage to this energy. Oh, I love this energy. It's just exceptionally sexy and sensual energy. 
and finding a way to sort of break free from anything that had tethered you from the past. So it could very well be you have finally found the courage or direction or purpose and reason to let go of that old relationship, that old job, that old thing that you weren't sure. Should I let it go? Should I not let it go? Oh, you're letting it go. And you are riding into the sunset away from all the BS and the past. Hold on. Let me review this. This is a very long reading. Um... And a lot of cards came out and I felt like they were all, they all needed to be talked about. This is definitely the truth coming out. This is that grounding energy of the truth coming out and you might, you probably being the deliverer of it. And once again, four plus five equals nine. Nine is a prominent number in this reading. Um, there is definitely coming, you're, you're definitely coming through saying something, sticking up for somebody, um, showing, uh, sharing your mind and, and, and putting it out there, putting it out there into the world and really not, you know, and, and having it be hit the target and hit the mark. Um, this could also be what attracts, uh, what attracts attention or what, I just feel like this is more you than them though. But it, of course, all the energies can be in reverse, but there's definitely this, I, I found it. I found what's going to drive me forward. I found the, the, the person I want to make babies with. I found the potential and the purpose in my life. There is definitely this energy of something, um, something uh, in the night. There's, oh, what is it? Ooh, it's, it's like it, it, the nighttime, the connection, the connection, maybe in dreams, but this is coming out of dreams. This is no longer in dreams. This is coming out of the dream world. This is coming out of the dark. It's emerging from the dark. It's emerging. I've been saying this for a while. Either the end of this year or in 2020 itself, we are getting closer and closer to the alignment of um, uh, the soul purpose and soul connection. And and uh, I, I don't want to. I don't like to use twin flame a lot, uh, but definitely divine counterparts. And there is an energy of this twist in nature. This 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 happy but but ironic twist that is th this this unexpected connection. This this unexpected appearance, this person that isn't somebody that you normally would have been interested in or this purpose in life that you normally would not have been interested in and finding this purpose that surprises you but something that you want to uh, delve into or dive into. Uh, I'm going to do the extended reading. I hope that you would, uh, I hope that you join me and then we're also going to articulate the romance energy as well. So Scorpio, I'll see you over there.